Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video, we are going to discuss how to create a new branch, how to commit from a new branch, how to add the origin of the new branch. Without any further ado, let's start the video. Guys, as you can see on the screen, if you are in Visual Studio, this is the branch which I have created with the master. So first, now I'll create my branch. So how to create a new branch? First, you see what are the branches. For that, guys, just type git branch, click on enter. You can see the branches which are available. Now, the current branch which I have is master. In order to create a new branch, guys, just create git branch, create minus C for create, and you can give a branch name. So, let me give a branch name as new branch. So, you can give it as like this. And whenever you give on that, click on enter. So, now you have created a new branch. Just type git branch. You will be seeing the master and a new branch. How do I switch from master to new branch? As you can see in the top bottom, still it is new branch master only. So how do I switch? To switch guys, we have to use git checkout and you have to add your branch name. My branch name is new branch. Okay, click on enter. So I'll be switching to new branch. It will show you, okay, switch to new branch from origin master. So this is my new branch. So other thing which we can see guys is here. Let me create a new file. So new file I'll create. I'll name it as um, tutorials, okay, .txt file. In the tutorials.txt file, we'll write, so I'll write this is the new file created in new branch, okay. Now I have, I'll save this file, control S. Now I want to commit this file to my local branch. Okay, first we'll see git status. What does it show? Git status will show, okay, in your branch, we have few changes to be committed. For that guys, you just follow this git space add, you can add dot. If you are more than one file, if it is one file, you can add the file name. But for me, for now, I'll just use git dot, git add space dot. I'll click on enter. So now this file is committed in my local branch. Okay. So now how do I commit the file? So this is there in my local, but if you see, nothing will be there here also. So now mass branch is still master. We don't have any other branches. Okay. So now let me go back here. So after adding git dot add, so I have to commit my changes. How do I commit my changes? So I'll add the command git, I'll add space commit, I'll add minus m, and I have to give my name. So added tutorials file. Okay. So I have added tutorials file. So once I click on enter, so it should add that new file. The new branch should be created. So now let us see the git status. So there is nothing to commit. I have to just push my changes. Okay. So now still, if we go back here, if we reload it also, so still master is still the branch is master only. So developers, what they do, they create the branches like this. They work on the branches. They they commit the changes. It will be in their local branch. But now I have to push my changes. You can see here one is still there. Okay. I just have to write now git push. So once I have git push, guys, so it has to understand where it wants to push. So usually you can you can take this git push origin head, just add it here, just click on enter. So now your changes will be pushed. Okay. So now if you go on here, so if you reload here, see new branch has recent pushes, pushes right? Now to reload also, you can see a branch here. So you can see the new branch. So new branch will have uh, tutorials and master will not have that. So you can also change it between, okay? So if you want to change, just add git checkout master. So when you see, when you check out master, tutorials won't be there. Click on enter. So here it switches to master. But tutorials is not there. So you can again switch off to instead of master, you can switch off to new branch. 
so now you will be seeing the tutorials part okay with the in the next video we'll see how we can add a pull request how we can do the changes okay till now we have seen first we have seen what what branch we have we had master then we created a new branch which is a new branch git branch minus c any name you can give then we check out the branch we had two branches master and new branch then we had check out new branch so that we can work on a new branch then we added one file called tutorials then we check the git test git status git status had the tutorials to be committed command git add space dot then we committed our changes if you put git status here you can see the status is pushed then we had git push then we had an origin so that it will know where it should commit its changes and at this point we were able to see the new branch added here okay at the other video we'll see the commit compare and pull request but for now we will see here only then we added git push origin head all the other changes are pushed we have checked out the master master doesn't have tutorials yet so we have checked out the new brand new branch is having tutorials even the remote branch even the local branch. hope you have liked the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are new here please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye